So hey girl, hey. So we're gonna go for a hike, but it's starting to rain. I haven't been on a hike in so long and I really want to, so am I crazy? Yeah, I am, but let's just make it do what it do. I have a jacket. I have a jacket with hood. I think it's water resistant. We'll see. I wonder if the camera picked that up. Oh, it literally just started raining as soon as I got here. And so while I'm waiting for the rain to, to let up, we are coming up with a new variation for... I'm holding the, uh, the, the video on my phone with my foot. We are coming up with a new variation for our setting powders. Um, and so we have bronze, bronze goddess, we have radiant particles, and um, so this one's going to be more of a peachy undertone setting powder, um, but all of our setting powders are made from real pearls. So it's infused with pearl powder, it's infused with silk powder as well to give you a nice finish. That's what we're coming up. I just wanted to share that because I haven't so much shared and I'm really excited for this one because I I I personally have not found something similar to uh, our setting powders out there and I I'm a huge fan like not to toot my own horn but I, I really believe in our products especially because pearl powder has been part of my life for a long time it's something that's really transformed my skin Pearl powder has really transformed my skin, and I really believe in pearl powder. And that's what our products are infused with, pearl powder, uh, amongst a lot of other amazing, amazing ingredients as well. But pearl powder just really sets our setting powders apart. So I wanted to share that, and I'm excited for this new variation because I think that this, uh, this apricot setting powder is definitely something that can... Uh, benefit many many people and it's going to look good on many different skin types so super excited about that just wanted to share that as well let's go for a hike little rain never hurt nobody i'm so happy sunday so today I just wanted to do a video real quick. One, I haven't done one in a while and for good reason. And excuse me, I have, my allergies have been crazy to th this morning. Ever since I woke up this morning, my allergies have just been crazy. I feel like a little child, I can't help but just sniff. <laughs> my nose is running like a faucet. But I wanted to um, talk about uh, showing up when your manifestation comes to fruition and how important that is when it comes to holding that manifestation I I have you know life is life is consistent one of the things that I've learned is life is consistent life is faithful and life is loving and life wants to give to us and wants us to experience the things of our hearts desires that's why they're there one of the things that I had to learn was how to hold my stability so to speak life has been delivering a lot of blessings to my life a lot of manifestations a lot of prayers have been answered and one of the things I had to learn is how to show up when that prayer is answered when that manifestation shows up when that blessing is delivered to me in the most incredible beautiful way and showing up means who I choose to be in that moment so that's the importance of um, being present that's the importance of being in the moment is the choices that you make from these moments these moments in time so when that manifestation shows up in your reality and it's right in front of your face you have choices to make. You have a version of yourself you can show up as. And it's important to show up as that version of yourself that is deserving, worthy, and in her or his power when that manifestation shows up, when that blessing shows up. 
what choices and decisions are you going to make in those moments, in that moment? So, I would say personally, um, you know, I had a huge manifestation show up for me in my life. And it was a huge one. And as it was showing up and it was right in front of me, I felt some insecurities, some past pain, some things come up in me. And I knew, I, I actually I was playing into that. I was allowing that to be the version of myself that I allowed show up. The insecure version, the unworthy version, the undeserving version of myself show up when that manifestation was there. And then I realized it took, I, it took me to be, come aware and come back to the present moment and say, hold up Amber, hold up. This is exactly what you intended for your life. Stop it. I had to tell my, this is the test. This is a test. I can choose to show up as the confident woman I am, the woman that's in her power, the woman that I've seen in my vision and my imagination, that version of myself that is deserving of this manifestation. I can, I can choose right now and decide to show up as her, or I can come from a place of insecurity unworthiness and an undeservingness of this manifestation and I've done that before and I know what happens when that happens and I chose different I chose different I knew I'm like this is the test it's here it's here this is the test you choose you decide in those moments every single moment and as it's still in your reality and it, as it's still in your reality, you choose from that moment to show up as that version. You have to continue to choose and decide to be in your power, to show up as her. And that was one of the things that I realized. And it was just like, it was something that like logically makes sense. But when you're in it, it's like you don't really truly understand. And then you're like... I just had an epiphany. I'm like, this is a test. This is testing. It's not testing you. It's not testing me. But this is where the real work comes in, so to speak. I think that's a better way to say it. But that's where the real work starts, is making the decision in those moments. Making the decision in that moment. No, no, no. Not these old thoughts. Mm-mm. That's old Amber. She is confident. She's deserving. She is worthy of this. This is what I intended for my life. This is what I prayed for. And it's here. Because one thing that I know about life as the sun rises in the morning and the sun sets in the evening and the night falls, it is very consistent. Life is very consistent. Life is very faithful. <laughs> And life is very loving. It's giving you what you desire. It's giving you what you intend for. It's giving you what you want. And I had to realize all of the things that were showing up in my life were things that I intended for. I partly took a break because I had to do a lot of self-inventory, a lot of self-reflection. And I honestly was able to pinpoint almost everything that showed up in my life and how... I brought it into my existence. Like, what thoughts brought it into my existence? What imagination or vision or some story I was ruminating on, how, I, how that brought it into my fruition? I, and I was like, oh, wow. Damn, Amber. Damn. Like, and all life was doing was being loving to me consistent and faithful and it was delivering exactly what I was ruminating on what I was thinking what I was feeling these things and so when that manifestation whether it's a thing a person a lifestyle when it shows up what are the what's the version of you 
that you choose to be once that shows up. When you intended for that thing to show up, what version were you then? Make that choice, have those same thoughts in that present moment when it shows up. That's, that's the challenge. Because it's easy to fall back into old patterns. It's easy to fall back into old thoughts and these things. That's easy. You know, one of my... Man I, I can't even tell you how many manifestations have been you know, showing up for me. Like, it's crazy. When you align, when you start aligning in the present now, in the present moment, that's the thing. In the present now, that's when it's like, hey, life is consistent, life is faithful. But one of the things that I wanted to manifest in my life is morning walks. I, uh, you know, mornings have always been challenging for me. I had... I hate mornings. I hate waking up in the morning. I hated it. And, you know, a, you know, a, an unfolding of an event, some unfolding of events has led me to starting to wake up morning and actually enjoying the morning walks that I had envisioned in my head that I would be, you know, delighting in these, these morning walks. And now I enjoy my morning walks. I have a beautiful... Um, trail that's near where I live and in the morning it's just so beautiful it just feels so amazing it feels so good to enjoy these walks that I actually manifested into my life and it, it, it's like I still have to make the choices though in those moments the unfolding was the ability to to have these walks like um some things happen to allow me to to kind of force me into waking up early which i you know it is what it is but i needed that and um and then it's like the weather and the here in colorado is just amazing and then like there's just an amazing trail that i can enjoy that i make my coffee and i drink my coffee and i enjoy the morning air and just being alone with my thoughts and intending for my day I wanted that so bad I envisioned myself doing that and events unfolded to allow me to do that in a in a really easy way but but I still have to make the um, decision and choice every day to actually take the walk right it's there for me to enjoy I have the time I have the space I have the avenue to enjoy these morning walks that I intended for my life. I make the choice every day to do it and take advantage of it. That's there. It, it's, it's such a blessing. It's a gift right in front of me. And so I make that choice to do it. And, you know, other things have unfolded in my life. And I have to make a conscious choice to show up as her, that version that deserves that thing. And whether it's me being in my power and being confident and knowing who I am, um, you know, those things, that's still a thing. But I wanted to share that because I think it's important. I just um, went on a hike and I did some footage on the hike and I actually talked about this on the hike, but, you know, sometimes the, the, the footage can be kind of bad. So I wanted to actually like sit and actually chat with you guys because you know I it's been perhaps I will share some of the things that have led me to be back in Colorado Springs if you do not know I think I shared that in my last video that I am back in Colorado Springs which is crazy did not see it coming did not see it coming whatsoever I thought I was on a different path, but, you know, God, life, source, delivers things in the least resistant way, I suppose, and I'm here in Colorado Springs again. And I might share <laughs> um, some, some things on that. You know, I I struggle because I, I, I want to be, share, you know, giving in what has unfolded in my life because I feel like a lot of people could really you know my life 
goddamn is like a, a could be a really great example <laughs> for a lot of people. But at the same time, I'm pretty private to an, to a point. I feel like I have a calling to share my story to help others. And so I struggle with sharing some things and holding back some things and you know if I feel if I feel the desire to share that part of me eventually I I will but at this moment um not so much <laughs> so but I I have I want to share some of the manifestations that have you know come into fruition for me um again didn't expect to be here in Colorado Springs you know, I was in Colorado Springs, then I went to the mountains and stayed there in, a, in an Airbnb and just kind of like took my time. And, you know, a lot of things happened internally when I was in the mountains in Fraser, Colorado. And then I made the decision to move to Denver. And that was interesting. Um, you know... And I don't know, I don't know, you know, you know, life is interesting. It, like I said, it's consistent and faithful. It gives you exactly what you, you intend for. I did intend to live in Denver, um, but life is, life is interesting. I'll just say that. I'll say that. And so now I'm back in the Springs. Anyways, you guys, I wanted to share that, um, huge huge because when it comes to your manifestation in order to hold it you have to show up as that version but that's all I wanted to share that now you know on this channel I talk about up leveling your life mind body and spirit and so obviously this is about spirit up leveling our spirit and so the point of all of this is what version of yourself are you going to show up when that uh, blessing, that manifestation, that prayer is answered, what version will you choose and decide to be in that moment? And the moment after. Sorry, I'm sniffing, sniffling. And the moment after. And the moment after. And the moment after. You have that choice. You have to make that choice. What version of yourself where you show up as the worthy version or the unworthy version, the confident version or the insecure version, the one that's in her power or the one that's a victim. Okay. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh wait, hold on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel because I like to talk about up-leveling our life, mind, body, and spirit. And if you like that kind of thing, I think you'll like it here too. And that's all. I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.